Hey kids, today I'm gonna tell you a story using objects that I found here back home. Well, as you can see, we have on a table a bowl, bed sheet, masking tape, hot plate, corks, pumpkin, plastic pipe, sweet potato, potato and sticks, lamp, tangerine, pliers, air pump. Now all you have to do is use these objects, vegetables and fruit and create your own characters. Come on, join us! Hey students, today we're gonna have a very special storytelling. It's a story called The Selfish Crocodile, written by Faustine Charles. Are you ready? So use your imagination as much as you can. Deep in the forest, in the river, lived a large crocodile. He didn't want any other creatures to drink or bathe in the river. The hippo was not allowed. <laughs> not even the elephant. The deer couldn't as well. The giraffe did not get any closer. And the poor snake was always left behind. Every day he shouted to the creatures of the forest. This is my river! If you come into my river, I'm gonna eat you all! So, there were no fish, no tadpole, no crabs, no crayfish in the river. All were afraid of the selfish crocodile. The forest creatures kept away from the river as well, and whenever they were thirsty, they went for miles to drink and bathe in other rivers and streams. <laughs> Every day the crocodile lay on his great big back in the sun, picking his big sharp teeth with a stick. But early one morning, the forest was awakened by a loud groaning sound. <laughs> the creatures thought it was an animal caught by the crocodile. Oh no! Oh poor animal! But as the sun came out brightly, they saw it was the crocodile who was in pain. He was lying on his big back, holding his swollen jaw, and he was crying real tears. <laughs> Some creatures, they drew closer, but not too close, because they felt sorry for the crocodile, and they were afraid as well. What happened to him? Maybe he's going to die. <laughs> Suddenly, a little mouse appeared sniffing in the air. <laughs> Look at that little mouse, <laughs> chattered the snake. He's either very brave or mad. He's going to be eaten for sure, said the giraffe. The mouse crept along the crocodile's big neck and into his open mouth. There was a hush in the forest. Shh. The little mouse got hold of something and he pulled and he pulled and he pulled and walked out of the crocodile's mouth. There was a loud cheer from the creatures. Yeah, hooray! You did it! You did it! 
The purple does not try anymore! Yay! The crocodile sat up and said, I don't feel any more pain. It's all gone. They saw the mouse walking down his tummy, carrying an enormous crocodile tooth on his shoulder. Your bad tooth was giving you a toothache, answered the mouse, turning around and faced the non-smiling crocodile. <laughs> Uh, do you want it back? And the crocodile answered. Oh, no, no, no. You can have it. Please take that away, and whenever you come back, I'll have a present for you. The mouse went and buried the bad tooth under a tree. When he returned, the crocodile had a juicy tangerine just for him. Yummy, yummy, yummy. As the crocodile watched the mouse eating the tangerine, he said, You're very clever and kind too, but what shall I do if my toothache comes back? Don't worry, I'll have to take care of your tooth, answered the mouse. Soon, the crocodile and the mouse were best friends. And one day, the crocodile sent all the animals an invitation. Please, come to drink and bathe in my river. I won't hurt you. The river belongs to us all. Rawr! The creatures weren't afraid to drink and bathe in the river anymore. Although the crocodile was sometimes snappy, they grew to love him. And soon the river was full of fish, tadpoles, crabs, and crayfish. Yeah!